basically the reason why you have corrosion related failures in fire sprinkler systems is due to oxygen corrosion. It's nothing more complicated than that. It's, it's a simple chemical reaction when you have water, oxygen, and iron all in contact with each other. You're going to have oxidation, you form iron oxide, ice plug, and then they fail. So the whole reason why we're doing what we're doing today is to remove oxygen, which is a corrosive fuel, per se, for the corrosion reaction. You remove oxygen, you stop corrosion. It's, it's really that so The way that we perform this process on wet systems is uh, with compressed nitrogen bottles, which we have over here. Right now we're draining the wet system down. Once this wet system is completely drained of water, or as close to completely drained as we can possibly get, um, we're going to inject with nitrogen. We'll take compressed nitrogen, we'll inject it into the system until the system reaches 30 PSI. After we're at 30 PSI, we're going to go back to our vent, uh, whichever has installed at the uh, other end of the building, and we're going to take a nitrogen reading. After the first fill, we're usually around 91 to 94%. Uh, after we verify that our reading is where we want it to be, we'll purge the system. Um, we'll likely purge from the auxiliary drain since we have one on this system. That's, that's the best way, easiest, quickest, and uh, best way to mix the nitrogen is by using an auxiliary drain. Um, so we'll drain all the way back down to zero. We'll fill it up one more time to 30 psi, and then we'll go take another reading. Uh, at that point, if we're above 98%, we're good. We can return the system back to service after we drain the nitrogen, again, obviously. Um, a lot of times, though, it will take three fills. If we're not at 98% or greater after the second fill, it will require one more fill. Um, after the third fill, we should easily be above 98%, at which point we'll drain the nitrogen and return the system back to service. That's uh, really, really about it. Uh, we'll run through it step by step today. If we have any questions, we'll be running through it. Ninety-five point one. It's pretty good for a first film. All right, so now we're going to purge. We've got thirty pounds of nitrogen in our system. This is fill number one. We're going to open up the auxiliary drain until all the nitrogen is evacuated. So this is fill number two. We're going to fill again to 30 psi and uh, repeat the same steps we just did. So 98.4, we're good. We've completed our second fill in the system. We've measured our nitrogen, we're at 98.4%. Uh, our goal was 98%, so we have reached our goal, and this, that will make this purge the final purge. So we're gonna do that now. Okay, so we have completed the wet pipe nitrogen and earning process. Uh, we've returned the system to full operating service uh, with 150 pounds of water. Um, so we now know that any gas that's left in our system is essentially non-corrosive. It's nitrogen, it's no longer oxygen, it's not going to hurt the piping. 
The only instance in which you would have to do that whole process again is in the event that uh, somebody comes and does maintenance on the system without following the proper drain down procedure, which we'll go over in just a minute, or if we have a system trip, if, uh, if a, uh, a head breaks or any other instance or a fire situation. So uh, if you need to come and perform maintenance on the system, anything that requires a full drain down of the system, the way you're going to do it as, is as such. You're going to hook up your hose from your tank to your injection port as we had before and you're going to inject nitrogen at a pressure higher than system pressure. So, on your system side of your nitrogen regulator, our system right now is at about 160 pounds. That means we would want to adjust this regulator all the way up to 170. Once we get to 170, we can go ahead and open this valve and start injecting nitrogen. Once we hear nitrogen flowing into the system, come and open our main drain. Let nitrogen flow the entire time you are draining the system. So you keep flowing nitrogen until all the water is out of the system, at which point uh, you can go ahead and perform your maintenance and return the system back to operating service with uh, no additional uh, extra steps. Now, one thing to always keep in mind when you do this is one drain open at a time. You got your main drain open, you're injecting nitrogen, you want to go purge out of your, or you want to go drain out of your auxiliary drain, what was your main drain? If you have two drains open at one time, that's going to allow oxygen to come into the system and it's going to ruin the inert atmosphere. So always remember one drain open at a time. Uh, that's really it as far as, uh, as future maintenance. Um, any questions, always feel free to call us, but that's, that's pretty much all there is to it. Thank you. Thank you.